so here we are we have the amazing opportunity to to enter to one of the Bruno Taut buildings and take a look inside they are renovating the flat and we are really privileged to to be able to do this here we are let's take a look this was the kitchen of the flat The yeah, generous window to the front, so we can easily understand the logic. Here we have what was the living room with a beautiful winter garden. open to to the back as you can see it has lifted ceiling and directly connected with the with the garden take a look if it's possible upstairs all houses have a keller this is the entrance and let's see we can take a look upstairs this is a stair very compressed in the right part of the building people is working here they are very kind to let us take a look this was one of the rooms to the back It's interesting the proportion of the window in relation with the room. And yeah, excuse the, the sound, but of course they are working. This is the view. You can see every level of the bathroom. And another tiny room oriented to the front. Planning to the last level.
das Nuklearabkommens mit dem Iran, der nur auf diese Art und Weise ist zu gewährleisten, dass der Iran nicht in den Besitz einer Atombombe bekommt, um das unter allen Umständen zu verhindern. Außerdem werde das weitere Vorgehen angesichts der Spannungen mit Russland besprochen. And this is the first level. Again, another room on the right side. Open to the back. So. This is very interesting building which starting to be absorbed by the nature. Explain perfectly the concept behind Bruno Tau design and the relation with nature between architecture and nature. We can maybe stop a little here and take a look at the windows, the proportions, the position, the colors, the subdivisions. There is no doubt that Bruno uh, Taut was the master of of make grey details. So it's a total repertory of options and really lessons for architects uh, today still updated to how, in which way, we can convert a really long and monotonous blog, which usually tend to be our social hustling today, in something much more human appealing and much more sensible and much more related with nature and much more connected with the identity of the, of the inhabitant of this building. If you take, just let's make an imaginary game here, take all the colors, all the, all the details, all the, the subdivisions that he make in this, in this long block and put all gray color. What is it happening? How does it feel? Take out, take out also the nature if you want. 
So that's the difference. It's really tiny things can make architecture something absolutely different. This is the lesson of Bruno Taut about social housing for architects in the 21th century. And I would like that we make a short stop here and just take a look at the, the strategy, the architectural mechanism that used Taut to deal with the problem of three levels of a residential block to the street and how to create a, a much more um, sensitive and, and related with the human scale in the end. So what he made is subdivide the block in, in two, the lower part with two levels and the upper part just one level and there he changed the color. So in this way the perception of, of the street for a pedestrian is related with the two levels with color. And this is one of the main characteristics of this neighborhood, which is this corridor, interior, between gardens. So people get out the trash to the back, into the garden, as you see, all these containers. And then the people who collect it just enter through this corridor, pick it up, and that's all. Also allow an entrance through the backyard to the house. Also, we can say it's more space of, like you see, good for the winter. So this is a little the, the concept of Garden City. relation between architecture and nature.
another lesson from Bruno Taut to the architects of the 21th century. So maybe this is perfect end for this chapter where we can see the traditional in the left, the traditional modern movement and in the right the new proposal of Bruno Taub for social housing. Thank you for joining me in this chapter and see you next with more debris in architecture.